Okay, my friend was just pointing something out. See that large, wider building close to us? That's IT Park, so I should be visiting there later. That's, uh, you know, the CBD, popular business district. Lots of uh, professionals there. But we're hanging out a bit further. And he was saying, back in the day, there was just these houses that were in, like decent houses, and now there's all squatters up on the side of the hill. You know, there used to be a really nice view here, and, uh, you know, the more respectable houses here. But yeah, as you can see, they're all squatters now. That's okay. But it's a bit like a maze, you know, you might be standing on someone's roof or, or you know, they're just stacked up, you know, like a maze. Okay, and this is Kalamungai or Mulungai or internationally known as Moringa, the tree of life. So the friends went and got some to, to show me, but we're going to eat it. We're going to make it into a soup. So you just pluck the leaves, you can also squeeze the juice. You can use it as a disinfectant on wounds and then use that as a bandage or a patch for the wound. It's so versatile. So do some research guys, but yeah, the tree of life. The tree of life, it's wonderful. It's just, it grows wild on the street. We saw it just growing on the street everywhere, on the side of the road. Okay, so you got the Kalamungai soup. What do you call it? Tinola? Tinola manok. Tinola manok. Manok. Manok is soup. Chicken. Oh, sorry, manok. Oh yeah, the chicken. Okay, so it's a chicken soup. Get some vegetables and of course the kalamungai or moringa. Get some fried fish. Yeah, enjoying a healthy lunch. <laughs> you should eat this every day, guys. Eat kalamungai every day. <laughs> okay, just killing some time, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the one I got in Oslo. Apparently, that's the brand. I've got to do some research, but apparently, that's the famous brand from Batangas. Uh, Nasabuko Batangas. You know, they're, they're well known for their blades, actually. I did know that, uh, so I don't know if it's true, this particular brand, but it's certainly a respectable machete. This is my friend's uh, one in Cebu. His one is noticeably heavier. Comparably, his is shorter, but it is heavier. That's the type I like. See, his, his is a bit shorter, mine's a bit longer. But see how mine's a bit thin? That's okay. Still works in the book, His one's a, a lot heavier, a lot thicker and heavier. So this is very suitable for the buko, uh, the coconut. That's what I, that's what buko means, coconut. So you chop your coconut. See, his is already rusting. See, stainless steel still rusts here. It, he's had his for a couple of years though, and he has obviously used it for chopping coconuts. And there's the brand, I, I'm not familiar with that brand, but... As you can see, very similar pattern and design, very popular. That's usually just for cosmetic guys, it doesn't mean anything. It, it does lighten, make the weight a little bit lighter. Some act like, hey, it reduces friction, so it stops it from sticking. Sure, it's, if anything, it's annoying. It allows rust to build up and uh, bits of grit, grit and stickiness, like if from a uh, sap from the tree or the jungle. Uh, he has a very nice hardwood handle too. Very nice polished one. Mine's more of a basic one. I could polish it up more with some sandpaper back home, but I'm not fussed. It was just a souvenir, but I could certainly use it in the jungle if I had to. Anyway, so um, point is, I'm treating mine with Inox MX3, just to give it some rust protection. I'm sure it will work. It's been working great for me this whole trip. I've been using inox on everything. And um, from, uh, you know, door hinges, tools, all manner of tools, you know, it's been working great. And um, yeah, just thought we'd kill some time. I'll show you guys what we're up to. I've got my friends waiting downstairs. I just booked a room at Casa Rosario. Forgive my pronunciation. This is it. We're going to do a very quick tour. Okay, we saw a promo deal on the street near St. Mark's Hotel. St. Mark's is that very nice, classy hotel I stayed at last time in Cebu. Just um, before, earlier in the trip. This is a very nice room, very respectable. I got a promo deal for 1,100 uh, pesos. See? Casa Rosario Hotel. Okay, we can investigate all this stuff later. I'm just trying to find the address. Ah, oh, here. Here's the address and details. The reception were very good customer service, very painless. That's why I made a decision, hey, I'm, I'm just going to book two nights just to see what it's like. Okay. Um, St. Mark's Hotel is down that way. I was going to go back to St. Mark's, but I thought, why not try something different? And also very affordable. As I said, it was, the promo deal was actually triple nine pesos, meaning 999 pesos, but those rooms were sold out. They were the very basic rooms. So at least I got a nice double bed. 
or queen size bed, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, there's a 7-Eleven. See the stripey sign? Very convenient, everything I need. Exactly what I want, there's laundry mats, blah, 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 blah. Uh, bathroom is as simple and clean. Comes with complimentary soap and shampoo, all that. Here's me guys, on the move again. On the move, but uh, you know, I'm recovered, I'm not sick anymore, I'm feeling good. So time to explore more of Cebu City. All right guys, that's it, I gotta go. We're gonna go check out the mall. All right, thanks for watching. All right, here's the front lobby area, and obviously the restaurant. It's only very nice. Simple, but it's nice. Here's Dong. Here's the welcoming couches. And here's the reception. And this guy, he had very good customer service. Greeted me, took care of everything, he explained everything. So, now gotta go. Okay, salamat. <laughs> hey, man. All right, we just arrived, arrived at SM Mall, Cebu City. Are there many SM malls in Cebu? Yeah. Oh, there's many. Only two. Only two. So which one is this? Three. So which one is this one? The city. Uh, that's just what you call it, Cebu City Mall. Okay. In Cebu City, we have also in South area and we have also in North area. Oh, okay, North and South. Okay, cool. Okay, Mabuhai. Welcome to SM Mall, Cebu City. My first time in this mall, so interesting, very nice. Nicest malls I've seen have been in the Philippines. So yeah, they really pump them up. Anyway, we're gonna walk around. All right, we're now at Zach's Burger or Zark, sorry. They're meant to be famous for their massive burgers. It looks somewhat affordable, but um, as you can see, some ultimate jawbreaker. Tombstone. No, it should be interesting. We'll check it out. All right, the guys decided to choose elsewhere because it looks like fully booked. There's people lining up the front. I wouldn't have minded waiting. There's just we're on a time limit. Someone okay. has to go. We're in like the one of the main court areas. I'm not sure what wing we're in. There's different wings. It's such a big uh, mall. Anyway, it's very nice. And we're looking at other food stores. You know, other restaurants we can visit. Where are they? Big, big bees. Looks like a steakhouse. <laughs> Alright, baby. Yes. Yeah. It's a steakhouse. Yeah. Okay. Just down the end of Big Bees. Just looking at it, and I thought it was very small, but it's actually extremely large. Oh, wow, look at this steak deal. But take a look outside. They've got an outside area. Doesn't even cover it. As you can see, there's uh, plenty of tables. You can have a view of the you know, outside of the mall. Yeah, very nice. Okay, we're just at the front now. With the friends chilling out. So we're just making our orders, just to give you guys a shot. Uh, and they got Australian boomerangs. They're not real. They're not the real traditional ones, but it's nice. It's nice that they have it. So the decor. The traditional ones uh, usually wouldn't have patterns like that, but it's okay. It's nice, it's nice they made the effort and you got a blade for some reason. <laughs> and other quirky stuff. Well yeah, it seems like a cool place. It's my first time at this brand, so yeah. Okay, this is their Manhattan burger. Uh, I'm not happy. Look how thin that patty is. This is 285 pesos. Uh, it's weird. It's weird. Well, I've had I've had much better. It's just the cheese isn't melted. Anyway. And um they got their other dishes. See, the pasta looks good. Look at this sizzling hot plate, that looks good. John got this big rack of ribs, that looks good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, might, um, I might say something, I don't usually do that, but yeah. Alright guys, here's the story. This was their recommended signature burger. It was okay, it was okay. But it was just so lackluster, it's like, why is that your recommended signature burger? It's like insulting. You know, the ribs were good, everything else was good. By the way, everything else was good. The fish, pasta, everything. So anyway, the manager felt so bad, she's like, as compensation, gave me a chocolate cake. So, um, that saved the day. They just saved themselves. So they made up for it. So otherwise, uh, I guess you could say, Big B's, see I didn't believe that, I was going to leave them a bad review. But, um, Big B's, uh, they made a comeback. <laughs> so thumbs up. Okay, really nice dinner. Last shot of SM Mall, it's a huge mall. SM Malls are known for being big. But, um, and there's even bigger ones. But the point is, uh, it was nice just spending some time with the friends, the Cebuano friends. Alright guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.
Right. Yeah, just across the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I stayed there before. This one is coming. Yeah, so I stayed here before, Quest Hotel. Just across from Ayala. Ayala Mall is just over there.